The Obama administration's efforts to regulate its way out of climate change do not have to cripple the economy. So says the head of the EPA, who is trying to portray a much kinder, gentler agency to the energy industry. Tonight, Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us if it's working. You EPA Administrator you Gina McCarthy told energy executives in Houston there isn't a need to choose between a healthy environment and a healthy economy. You would see that we have been very effective in understanding how we can address pollution and still grow the economy. The Obama 2015 budget has about a billion dollars in it for a so-called climate resilience fund. House Republicans and 10 Democrats didn't buy McCarthy's pitch and passed a bill Thursday to limit the EPA's rules on power plants. We would be one of the very few countries in the world where you could not build a plant because the emission standards are so high. So our legislation is very simple. It, sa it, sa it says to EPA you can regulate greenhouse gases, but these are the standards for new coal power plants using the best technology that's available out there. And uh, that's all it does. The bill's sponsor in the Senate is Democrat Joe Manchin from coal country, West Virginia, who says the United States cannot unilaterally stop using this fuel source. The United States of America uses one-eighth of the amount of coal burnt, if it's all about coal and fossil, in the world. So we're not going to clean it up ourselves if we quit using every drop. Both the White House and Democratic leadership recognize environmentalists are a critical component of their base, so they hammer the climate change agenda. We have no more important issue in the world than this issue, period. Sheldon Whitehouse is one of at least 25 Democratic senators planning an all-nighter on the Senate floor Monday night to talk climate change. It allows Reed's liberal members the spotlight without putting red state Democrats on the spot with a tough vote. While President Obama wants new standards, Manchin says the truth is this industry is cleaner than ever. Guess what, Mr. President? We've used more coal in the last two decades and used it cleaner than we've ever used it. Whitfield says he objects to unilateral commitments to unrealistic standards made by the president without consulting Congress. And he says that's why new coal power plants are not in the works. It takes so long and so much capital, no one's even thinking about building one now because they know the technology is not available. Manchin is hoping some of his Democrat colleagues from red states will be successful in convincing Leader Reid to allow this bill to come up for a vote, although he recognizes twisting Reid's arm isn't easy. Brett? All right, Mike, thank you.